Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review and today I'm here to talk to you guys about the brand new album from Revocation, The Outer Ones, out right now. This album has 9 tracks and it's 49 minutes in length. This is a very good, very strong album from Revocation. These guys do not know how to make bad music, they always put out quality records. This one, The Outer Ones, is no different. This is a very strong, very heavy uh, album from Revocation. They did a wonderful job on this album. If I'm asked to describe this record in four words, I would say heavy, technical, melodic, and aggressive. Those are the best four words to describe this whole album from song one to song nine. It is very heavy, that is, there's a lot of technical death metal aspects throughout the whole album. This album is really heavy on technical death metal side of things. Some songs have some sprinkles of thrash metal in there but very little, like really sprinkles. This album is predominantly a, a, a technical death metal album. And then there's a lot of melody, there's a lot of melody in the riffs, there is a lot of melody in the solos, and then overall there's tons and tons of aggression on this record. The two highlights for me on this album were the guitar work, the riffs and the solos. Overall, the work that these guys did on the guitar side of things is absolutely incredible. Super melodic uh, riffs, some really aggressive and heavy riffs, they really alternated their style uh, depending on the song, depending on how the structure of the song was, and then in some cases even within the same song, they alternated the more technical death metal style riff, if you will, with the more thrashing sound riff. And they did a really good job mixing those two worlds and creating songs that are very dynamic and very fluid. The solos is another key aspect. They did an incredible job as far as the solos are concerned on this album. There's almost not one single song that has a solo that's kind of forgettable. Every single song has incredible solos. They did a really amazing job putting the solos that either add aggression to the song or add a lot of melody to the song, depending on what was lacking at any point in time within the song, that's where they went with their solos. The other aspect, the other key component I would say from this album is the percussions. I really like what they did there. Not overpowering, not to the point where they over, uh, they, they drown out all the sound and all the other instruments around them. They were there, they were noticeable, but they were there as just an add-on instrument, just another piece of the pie, if you will. And I really like that. I like the fact that they didn't go overboard with the percussions. They just used them in the right spots, in the right sound, with the right measure. It was really well thought out the way they put the songs together by, by adding heaviness where they needed to and adding more, more, more melody where they needed to, but at the same time never creating a, a drum bass line that was so overpowering that would overshadow everything else. They never did that at any point in time. They really used it properly in order to give the songs the needed aggression or the needed melody. This album really flies by. I must say, I, I, I lay down in bed to listen to this record and the time just flew. This is one of those records that you're gonna put it on and you're gonna co completely lose track of time because it just has such a fluidity from song to song. It, 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 almost if you close your eyes, it becomes very difficult to understand where one song ends and where the other one starts. That is the fluidity that the album has. The album takes you on, on a lot of twists and turns throughout the record, but even throughout each song. So it's a very fluid, very dynamic album. And the perfect example of that is one of the songs that they put it on this album that's an instrumental track. I was really amazed by that because the first time listening to the album, I, I, I remember going back and not being sure if I just heard an instrumental track or if that was the ending of one track and the beginning of another track. So I had to go back and listen to it several times. I really enjoyed that instrumental track on the album. I think it added a lot of melody. It, it added almost a lot of character to the record. And it's a really perfect showcase uh, for the fans to really uh, just sit back and take it in, take it all in, how good musicians these guys are and how well put together this band and this record is. Really, this instrumental track on the album, I'm not a big fan of instrumental tracks. I really enjoyed this instrumental track. It added so much beauty, it added so much melody. At the same time, it had aggressive moments in it. It had heavy moments in it. I, I really like where they placed it. I like the effect that they included in an instrumental track. This is one of those that really added something to the overall vibe and your overall fluidity of the record. Now, as far as favorite songs are concerned, I'm gonna start with Vanitas. Vanitas is a slower song, not, it's one of those that falls perhaps more on the thrash metal side of things. 
Uh, there are obviously, every single song on this album, uh, the, the barometer falls towards the technical death metal side with some sprinkles of thrash here and there. But this one is one of the more mellowed out songs, if I can even say mellow, because there's no mellow song on this record. But this is perhaps one of those that has a lot more melody to it. I really, I really enjoy this song. I really like the melody of the chorus. Above all else, the melody of the chorus was one of the things that really made me uh, pay attention to this song. That was one of the reasons why this song really stood out to me. The second part, the second aspect, if you will, of this song that really made this song stand out to me was the incredible bass line. I'm a big fan of the bass, of the predominant bass in music, specifically in death metal. And in this song, they use a very cool bass line towards the middle of the song. And it just comes to the forefront and it's there for your enjoyment. I really like that. That mixed in with the melody of the guitars and, and the melody of the guitars, but not just the melody of the guitars, the melody of the guitars and the chorus and how they merge so well with the melody of the vocals. I really like this song. It really offers something different from everything else on the album. Another song that I really enjoyed was That Which Consumes All Things. This is pure, uh, if I can describe this song in two words, is melodic brutality. This song is pure melodic brutality from the moment it starts to the moment it finishes. From the heavy percussions at the start of the song to the technical guitar uh, riffs, it, it just, it's, it's a complete merger of everything melodic and everything brutal into one song. This track has an incredible dynamic, an incredible momentum. It just never, it, it, you always feel like you have your foot on the gas with this song and you never really take your foot completely off the gas. There are some moments where it's slightly coming off the gas, but it never completely comes off the gas. I really like it. I really like the combination of melody and aggression in this song has both uh, has, has both elements in, in tons. Now, my favorite song of the album is Blood Atonement. I really love this song. Overall, my favorite song on the record. I love the melodic guitar riff of this song. This song has such a beautiful guitar riff that then matches so well with a vocal delivery in the song. Those two elements coming together create such a harmony of melody. It's absolutely incredible. That was the first thing that really attracted me to that song was the merger of the vocals and the guitar melody to create such a beautiful melody together. There's still a lot of brutality and aggression in the song, but the mixture of these two elements really gives this song a lot of melody. There is a middle section of the song as well where the bass comes in. There's a, there's a cool, really a stripped down part towards the middle of the song where the bass comes in and there's also a guitar in there and it's very stripped down, almost acoustic, almost unplugged vibe, if you will. I really like that. Once again, a lot of melody, a lot of charisma, a lot of beauty. And then that it gets replaced almost immediately with sheer heaviness and brutality. So that really shows you the two sides of the band, the more technical and melodic side of the band, and then the more brutal and aggressive side of the band. This song is a perfect example of those two worlds and how they combine them into one song. And throughout the whole album, they really merge those two worlds very well. This is my review of Revocation, The Outer Ones. I really enjoyed this album. I think this is a really strong album from them. It was a really a pleasure to listen to this record. I really enjoyed it. I want to know what you think about it. What are your thoughts on Revocation, the band, and on The Outer Ones, the album, if you had a chance to listen to it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your favorite songs in the comment section below. I'll be checking those and getting back to you. Take care, guys.